Hey, welcome to Ice Age TV Ford F-250 Tremor bed rug install day. So what am I doing today? I'm going to install myself a brand new bed rug. What I did is I laid this thing out earlier, hoping the heat would kind of help it be easier to put in. I just did my Ranger truck, so I think I know a little better angle on how to do this. Maybe, maybe not. In fact, this makes no sense. See that zipper right there? That zipper to me should be the opposite way. It is so difficult to put that on once you have the truck thing put together. So part of me says, you gotta put that together and then do your project, I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the expert, so I'm learning as I go, but follow me along in the F-250 Ford product. It's really a bed road product. And uh, let me show you how to do this. All right. So what I've kind of learned here, the smartest thing to do, just put all your Velcro on all the material. Okay. Just do that first. But you don't peel off the sticky side till last. But I think that's the first thing you should do. Then we're going to wipe down the bed with alcohol. And then I really think you should probably zip up this base before you install everything. So let me see if that works any better because oh my gosh i'm going to tell you what very challenging to zip up that bottom bed once everything's installed so uh, follow me along and hopefully this helps you be more efficient to install your bed rug but hey before i get too far into this i'm going to have a super coffee you can drink super coffee and be just like me and get all revved up to do all these projects right <laughs> super coffee the drink of the day all right so here's a little trick the big long white ones, that goes here, all right, at the back of the tailgate, and the other one goes to the main header, okay? Then these red ones actually go on a stripe on each side on the base. Then these all break into little pieces. And you gotta manage that as you put these together. If you're not careful, you'll use too many and you'll have to redo, take some off. It's not a big deal, but try to, try, you know, be conservative at first in putting these on and spacing them out because you will run out of material. How do we know? I just did my Ranger, so uh, follow me along. All right, so now it's time to wipe down the bed with the rub and alcohol. Take out these plates and hooks. Got some of my torques right there, and then uh, we start making progress. I think I'm gonna put this thing together this time before I actually put everything in there. We'll see how that plays out next. All right, so this time I got everything prepped up. But what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna zip this thing in before I secure this stuff. I mean, I don't know how you do that otherwise. So we're gonna find out here in a second if my theory is right or wrong. So follow me along. Okay, so see the challenge here is this zipper is upside down. So it's not like when you're on top of the truck here. See that? You <laughs> see, so you're pulling from the bottom. Very challenging. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zip it up now. While everything loose. Let's see how that plays out. All right. All right. Wow. That is a project. So see, I just made this into like a plastic bed liner. <laughs> and oh my gosh, you talk about just zipping this thing up. I don't think if you put this thing together, when you start tacking everything down, I can't see it. I mean, wow. And I gotta make my little notches. I, mean, I just think this is such a better way to do this. Zip it all up before you put this thing in. Otherwise, there's no way. I just can't see it. Follow me along. It's now about putting the brackets back in. This corner pocket and back pocket. So, see how it plays out. All right. What I do with my knife in my mouth here is I set these little bolts here, then I tuck everything in and I take my knife and I cut right around the bolt right there. And then I'm going to cut this all up. So follow me along. All right, see that? That's a real clean cut. Now I can put my bracket on there and you can still move this around to get all your tags off here to start sticking things. All right, now let's see if how good I am or not. I got the front brackets in. I'm not going to do the back because I'm going to lift up and try to get underneath here to peel the sticky tape on the bottom of this thing. <laughs> yeah, good luck, right? That's my next project. 
I'm wearing socks. I took my boots off because they were trash in the bed of the truck and getting dirt on it. So I want to go barefoot or socks. Hey, that idea works. This time around, boy, I tell you, <laughs> I'm glad I did the Ranger first because that, and I kind of thought about that, but that's a smaller truck and I can probably make that work a little easier because, oh my gosh, if I had done that truck, you know, meaning this truck here, the same way I did that one, oh, I'd be just screaming at this point. So that actually works. You put this whole liner together and then you can get your front brackets in. Then this just lifts up and it stays proportional, lay it back down. And now it's all about start taking all this sticky tape off and all this here and start securing it. So this is a lot easier this time. So hopefully I'll probably post this video first because this is the better video actually. <laughs> Wow, thank goodness for the old man step here because that's made a huge difference getting in out of this big ass truck. I'm down the home stretch. So I gotta do my last tape here. And boy, I tell you, managing these little red things, that's not easy. <laughs> I mean, I had to find a few more of my own. So a uh, little project here, but we're coming along and I'll show you the final product, product here in one moment once I peel off all the stickies here and I'm really impressed. I got it all done. All right, finishing up, but boy, I tell you what, I don't know what's going on here. It's not comforting, and I'm just gonna see if this thing sits up overnight. I don't know if there's like a little, you know, part here in this tailgate, but this thing gets jammed up, and I've even taken out these bumper stops, and it's really not comforting, and I don't know what's going on. And it's just so damn tight. I have repositioned this cut, this uh, bed, and the tailgate thing, numerous times, so. I'm going to hope that this thing sits overnight and kind of adjusts to that material. But right now, it's not good. So here's what happens. You go to close the tailgate, fine, right? Watch. So what you have to do, you have to push on the tailgate to get it to come out. So I'm just assuming this thing sets up overnight. But anyways, Jesus Christ. It's never simple, man. That's what I tell people all the time. It looks damn good, but... That is disappointing right there with that electronic. But we'll find out tomorrow. But hey, so watch. Just push real hard. And she's fine. Makes no sense. But anyways, hope this video helps you install your brand new bed rug with a Ford logo on it through Ford Accessories. And you can accomplish this like I did. Thanks for watching Ice Age TV. Have a great evening. All right, I got the back tailgate to work correctly. Watch this. So after it sets up a while, it actually, I think, fixes itself. So once again, hope this video helped you out install your bed rug in your Super Duty Ford truck.